Come with Tana Temple for the ladies on the runway, aka Sugar and Spices. Made the girl them like cheese. Already know. Hotel Daily. We out here. Fine, man. I got a couple of singles. I say a couple. I have like a single for every month in 2020, but I don't know if I'll give them all 12. I think I'll like just five, man. Five bangers straight back, back to back. But there's enough music, man. I was going to drop a project, but then I changed my mind this year. Maybe next year. I got a couple of visuals coming out this year. This year is a lot, a lot of um, content this year. Animations, merch, visuals. It's like the whole point of creating is to see how far you can push yourself, like how far you can go. I don't know if you're filming. I always like to see how far, where I can take the, the next song to, like, do you get what I'm saying? Man, Omojo is fam, you know, from day zero. That's my brother. We've been in the street together. Shout out to Mojo, shout out to the whole Chop Life crew, Ron, Mr. TJ, Pedro, um, Foley, everybody, Minuli. Man, it's a big, big, big movement this year, you get me? Like, everybody's out strong, everybody's bad. We're all coming out this year, like, giving them one by one. Uh, there's a group project in works, I can't really speak about that right now, but then there's single projects. Everybody has like single project they're pushing. Mm, boy, it's my G. That's family for life. I've been influencing nigga sound since 2009, what? 2013. Well, I mean, like, I just been doing a lot of background stuff. I help niggas write. I help them create vibes. I help them like direct their sounds towards where I, I think they wanted to take it to. I just like, I'm like a catalyst in this. Shit. You get what I mean? There's a there's a lot of people I worked with, but I just can't mention names right now. You get me? Well, boy, shout out to Boy, realest nigga. The guy shout out me out, even if I didn't ask him, even when I didn't ask him, too. Yeah, he told me I didn't ask him. Yeah, he's a B. That guy is too real. The boy is too real, man. Shout out to Boy. I don't like his new haircut, though. F that. Ah, yeah, f that. I don't like his new haircut. Look at his sweet boy. Why is that sweet boy? <laughs> GMK was a real one, too. Actually, that was like one of the first places I actually like f the music in GMK's yard back in GRA. Real ones, no. Street for tough, oh man. Guys fly bikes and all of that just to go and listen to fresh sounds. You get what I'm saying? Talk about rap in El Negro's room uh, back in the day. It was hard, though. I met a lot of people, a lot of people there. I met a lot of people. I think that's when I met Bruce the first time. Yeah. No, it was never GMK, it was El Negro's in January. Bruce is my soul brother. Yeah, 2016, we did that for time joints. But we actually, uh, fun fact that that thing, we did that in 2015, summer 2015. I actually recorded that at Benny, Benny's Macaulay's side, yeah. And then it didn't come out in 2016 because obviously gas pay for the subs and everything. And then big ups to Dami for shooting that video. Literally woke me up with that day and said, yo, let's go shoot a video. Right now, I'm listening to Tim Larry. That guy's a magic shot, man. The fuck? He's in Chop Life, by the way. Um, Ghetto Lenny, obviously. Um, St. John, for those that know him. Yeah, I listen to World. I love World, man. Um, man, basically, anybody that has a dope sound, like, is not afraid to, like, just do that shit. I fucked with that. I used to listen to her, but I had this thing of listening to like underground cats till they become like mainstream. I don't know, I just love that shit. At least I literally look for people that are not popping yet. There's K Snap. That's somebody you should look up. I don't think anybody has heard of K Snap, but that boy is bad. Uh, July Drama. I love July, man. July is not afraid to. And tap into his creativity. I think comes with having no face. Um, who else? Who else? Ooh, I like Buju. Buju has a vibe. Wani, oh my god. If I'm allowed to say that, that boy is bad. Yeah, Wani is bad too. Collaboration I'm looking forward to this year with me and uh, 
burner that would be sick man that would be fucking sick man it's big ups burner boy shank that's my big bro shout out shank shank said that realest nigga in the game remember the first song i ever recorded in the studio shank walked in the day i was recording that song and he had a session but he waited for me to finish like it was so real like that this was the time where shank was popping i mean it was really hot and the guy gave me pointers he was like man dope song but try and like be more audible so that people could hear what you're saying like i fuck with the flows and everything obviously and since then that relationship was there i always used to go meet shank and be like yo og what do you think about this what do you think about this and he'd be like man it's hard or you can switch it up still then i dm'd him one time i think last year and i was like legend what are you saying now bless me with your verse and i was like all right cool I sent him the tune two days later he sent me his verse and i was like this guy real guy but he had even quit music at this time so still gave me that verse bro it's too real old shank is the reason why i have like the sound i have today he was the one that made me think that okay yeah you can do all that things aside from just rap like you can just like branch out into this when i heard shank the first time i was like how is this guy so hard without rap rapping like he's not spitting hard but those guys really hard shank brought a certain type of realness to the game if, if you know what i'm saying man like remember back then everybody was trying to copy this yankee thing but like shank just brought that realness to it like it was okay to be from the ghetto you get what i'm saying yeah that is babies that is babies shout out to Natis baby they put a lot of niggas on loki they put a lot of niggas on that is baby was the wave before any other thing like for just like hotel artists and like underground artists like it was a place to showcase yourself man big ups to idris king big ups for that for real i just learned that yc was 93 i used to think yc was like you get what i'm saying <laughs> i gotta look so old man right? <laughs> yeah yc yc is dope old, man i've been known yc since unilag days yc big ups yc the motion to move it man no doubt no cap on that i listen to the album back to front front to back any song anytime play any song out of the album i'm vibing to it i'm not skipping wishing to move it one day cool legend favorite film of all time has to be scarface i'm tony montana <laughs> i'm tony montana he was a it was a rough one, a lot of ups and downs, but uh, it was beautiful, man. I mean, it kind of like gave me a uh, perspective to who I am today. Thank I'm thankful for that because, like, without that experience, I wouldn't have known who I, who I am today. The days where we perform in front of crowds like 7,000 people and have nowhere to sleep, so we literally go to the bar, sit on stools all night drinking beer smoking cigs bear girls coming to shout out trying to go home with man but we ain't got nowhere to go to i mean like experiences like you can't buy that i know that daily girls don't they page me say they want my babies now they acting crazy bitches they, they got rabies <laughs> <laughs> The Alternative Network.